and welcome to World of Science. This is day four. Happy Wednesday. I hope everybody is happy and healthy and safe. We have a really fun experiment coming our way today. And with Easter coming up, I'm sure a lot of people are starting to have these just laying around their house. I know that um, I went and got these from my mom and she uh, never throws anything away. So she had a bunch of these. Maybe you can find them in your basement or in the back of your closet if you don't have them out yet. But these are just regular plastic Easter eggs that we are going to make explode today. And this is a fun experiment, not only for kids, I have to admit that it's super fun for adults too, because anything, anytime you can watch something explode, it's always a lot of fun. I would recommend doing this outside. I don't have an outside area, so I'm gonna do this inside. But if you could do it outside, I would recommend that. And uh, I have my two dogs, my two assistants right here. They don't really like the noise this is gonna make. Um, right now they're sleeping. They won't be sleeping for very long. We'll see. They also went storm chasing with me, so they're not afraid of a whole lot. So what you'll need for this experiment is you'll need some water and you will also need some Alka-Seltzer. It's two very simple, simple ingredients. I also have safety goggles today because uh, I am gonna be launching these in my apartment and I don't know what they're gonna bounce off. I don't want anything to hit me in the eye. Um, but if you do this outside, you can, uh, I'll, I'll demonstrate what's gonna happen and you can uh, back away from what's gonna happen as opposed to be really close to it like I am. So first I wanna talk about the reaction that's gonna happen and that's, uh, it's very simple and you've probably seen this before. And basically all we're going to be doing is creating carbon dioxide. And that carbon dioxide is going to be what is going to help our Easter eggs explode. So I'm going to take Alka-Seltzer. And for this one, I'm going to take a whole tablet just because I want you to see really well on the camera what's going on. Is Alka-Seltzer is made up of um, a couple of things, but the two main ingredients are citric acid and sodium bicarbonate, which is just a fancy way of saying baking soda. So what happens when you put and Alka-Seltzer in water is it forms carbon dioxide bubbles. You can see all those bubbles happening. When they get to the surface, they break and they release. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing the same reaction. We're gonna be creating those carbon dioxide bubbles, but instead of letting them release at the surface of the water, we're gonna pressurize them, and that's what's gonna help our Easter eggs explode. So I've done a couple of things here. I've actually taken, um, uh, some toilet paper rolls, some empty toilet paper rolls, and I've just cut um, part of it off to make a little stand for our Easter eggs to sit up on. I'm gonna move this before I knock it over because you know that's gonna happen. And so what we're gonna do is, actually I'm gonna start with this small one. You can do this with any size Easter egg. It doesn't matter what size, it doesn't matter what color, but the important thing to note that this is a true trial and error experiment that if you change the size of this, if you change, because I've got a tiny one over here too, if you change the size of this, you're gonna have to vary the amounts of water and the amount of Alka-Seltzer that you put in, and that makes it more fun because you can either create a big explosion, a little explosion, or if you don't put enough, it won't explode at all. And that's a fun trial and error. It's a true science experiment of what exactly is gonna create this explosion. So I'm gonna do one for you here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit of water in the bottom half of my Easter egg. And my toilet paper rolls are a little bit too big for this one, but we'll just do it in, we'll do it in our egg container here. Oh, well, that makes it a little bit hard to see. So I'm just gonna hold this one for you guys. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take the top end of this, and this is the part where you're gonna need an adult to help. Adults, you'll definitely need to, parents, you'll need to supervise this one because, like I said, this is an explosion that's gonna happen and things are gonna fly. So I'm gonna take my Alka-Seltzer and I'm gonna only do, maybe this is like a third of it for this one, and I'm gonna break it up one more time and I'm gonna put it in the top of this. This is the part that you're gonna have to do really fast because as soon as the Alka-Seltzer hits the water, that carbon dioxide formation is going to start and you wanna be able to capture all of that inside of here. So, we're gonna do this really quickly. Hopefully not spilling any water. And so I've got my Alka-Seltzer, I've got my water in the bottom half, and we're gonna snap it closed. And I hear it bubbling. bubbling. <laughs> wow, 
is this one not going to work? This usually works every single time. Well, that's a science experiment for you guys. Let's shake it up a little bit and see if that helps. Wow, that's so disappointing. Usually this works every single time. So we're going to try this one more time. Looks like all of this just dissolved. Maybe I tried out this egg too many times. So we're going to do this one. Some of these are attached, so you'll have to detach them. I'm super sad that didn't work, but that's science experiments, y'all. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I'm going to put less water in this one. Like I said, it's a true trial and error to see what's going to happen. So we're going to take some Alka-Seltzer, put it in the top, and let's hope this one works. Here, bubbling. I wonder what's going on today. Well, I have videos of it, of it, of it working. So if we need to post one of those online, we certainly can. Wow, it's just fizzing up and it's not exploding. So we'll try this one more time. We'll try it with this one because I know this one worked because it did before. Dump that out. Of course, you know, that's, that's like the true um, saying of going live. Nothing works when you actually are live trying to do it. All right, we're going to use a lot of Alka-Seltzer this time and see if that kind of will cause the catalyst to happen. I'm just super disappointed if this doesn't work. It worked every single time when I tried it. All right, pour out a little bit of that water. And... Third time's the charm, right? Hopefully. Wow. <laughs> well, it looks like we're not going to get our explosion today. I hear it. Well, <laughs> wait, I will post a video of it working online. I'm not sure why this is not working, whether it's my water or what's happening today, or maybe I left my Alka-Seltzer open too long. I'm not sure what's going on, but I will post a video of this online and I promise it does work. And something else that you can do, actually taking it a step further, is you can create a little rocket out of toilet paper tubes and, uh, you can, so like a little rocket, you can decorate it all different sorts of colors. You can put little wings on it. You can actually put your egg in the bottom of it and have a rocket explode. So I'm sorry that didn't work today. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I promise it does work. Try it out at home. And uh, Tim, do we have any comments? I'm kind of scared of the comments today. Tim? Hello? I don't know. Yeah, I, I swear, so I actually did this experiment. He said it's like taking a car to the mechanic and, and it's not working. I actually did this experiment this weekend where um, it didn't explode right away. And so I walked over to it and um, then it exploded, of course, like right when I walked up to it. I'm gonna, try, I'm, we're gonna try this one more time because I swear this is gonna work. Get some scissors. I was so excited about this one today too. I know, I know. We're going to load this one up with Alka-Seltzer and see how that one goes. I'm going to do this one more time. And if it doesn't, then you guys just try it at home and see, see how that happens. I think this is what's called a, um, a Pinterest fail, where you see something and you really want to do it and it doesn't turn out exactly the same way. All right. One more time, guys. Well, let's hope this one works. I can tell it's not going to work because before it was making like these noises like it was going to bust open and for some reason it's just uh it's just not going to work today oh i hear it here we go oh you 
how they got one to work. There we go. Well, fourth time's the charm, apparently. And that one I did use a lot of, a lot of Alka-Seltzer, but I have a lot of open Alka-Seltzer tablets here, and I'm thinking uh, maybe just use a fresh one, because that was a fresh one and that one did work. So yay, we got one to work. And uh, you can have a lot of fun with this at home. The bigger the egg, the bigger the explosion. And it's certainly a lot of fun to watch it happen. And uh, yeah, that's the carbon dioxide bubbles that are, that are forming in there. And then they uh, create a lot of pressure building up in the egg until you get so much pressure that it pops off the cap of it. I'm so happy that that one finally worked. <laughs> Tim, do we have any other questions? <laughs> I'm so happy that it went boom too. <laughs> all right. Well, I have all the instructions online and certainly try this one out at home. I promise it works better than what I just demonstrated. It worked every single time for me before we, we went, oh, there's, there's one happening again. <laughs> of course. So uh, you can uh, try that out at home and uh, it's a lot of fun. And um, yeah, I promise it'll work better than it did for me. So happy Wednesday. If you have any questions, just uh, put them in the comments and I'll try to get to them. And hope you guys have a lot of fun with this one and try it outside. Uh, that way you can put a lot of Alka-Seltzer and a lot of water and make some really fun Easter egg explosions. All right, y'all have a great Wednesday.